favorite e blog. So I'm trying um, a new way of doing EW where there's this video that gives you the explanation as if it was a lesson and then you're going to do the questions on your own and have a go and then we'll talk about it next lesson. And I'm trying a, a new way of doing videos where you don't just have my voice, parts of it you'll be able to see me speaking and see me going through the explanation and my hope is that will help you understand the meaning of what I'm trying to say and help make it will help you understand the meaning of what I'm trying to say and help make it a bit more interactive and feel more like a normal lesson and our normal kind of learning. So let's just go for it. So the addition and subtraction. So the way we're going to think about this is we're going to imagine that each of our thirds is just like x. So whatever we would have x if we added x with x we would get 2x. In the same way if we have root a plus root a that would be 2 times root a. However if we have root a plus root b we can't simplify that in the same way that if we had x plus y we wouldn't be able to simplify. The same rules apply for subtraction so if you have thirds that are the same square root then we can do subtraction and if not, we cannot simplify. So if you look at these examples, if I have 3 root a minus root a, then we get 2 root a. Whereas if we have root a minus root b, then we can't simplify it. So you need to learn those rules, and I put them in the rainbow box to hopefully help you remember that you need to remember those. But now let's have a look at some of the examples. So the first one, we've got root 3 plus root 3. So if I think back to my box, that's like having x plus x, so I know that's going to be 2 times root 3. Number 2, we have 2 root 2 plus 3 root 2. We can apply the same principle, so I know that I'm now going to have 5 lots of root 2. 5 root 3 minus root 3, so that's like having 5x minus x, so we know that's going to be 4 root 3. Question 4 is a little bit trickier, so this is showing us that sometimes we need to simplify the third first, before we apply the additional subtraction. So I have root 18 plus 2 root 2. Now I know that I can simplify root 18. If I think about the factors of 18, I've got 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 6 and 3. Now one of those factors is square, that's 9. So we need to use that factor to simplify our third. So I change root 18 to be root 9 times 2, add 2 root 2. Then I can simplify my square root of 9 times 2 into 3 root 2 by square rooting the 9. So I end up with 3 root 2 plus 2 root 2, which is 5 root 2. Question 5 is a little bit trickier. I think it would be a good idea if you can to pause the video now and have a go at that yourself. But we'll go through it. So root 27, if I think about the factors of 27, I know that I have a square factor of 9. So I can change root 27 into the square root of all of 9 times 3. Simplify that further and I end up with 3 root 3 plus 2 root 2. I can't simplify that further because my thirds are different. So it would be like having x and y. So I hope that explanation ha is going to help. You've got your questions to do now on OneNote, so have a go at those and let me know if you have any problems.